Hi everyone, in this video we are going to see about commodity products breakout levels. By watching this video you can gain some knowledge about market. Those who are new to channel kindly subscribe the channel and select the ring bell. The channel name is NSE Commodity Trader. By selecting the name of this channel you will go to home page. In home page you can see more videos like this. We are also taking more advanced trading strategy class. If you want to know about it, WhatsApp or contact the number which is given below. If you want to open a DMATA trading account, kindly select the link in below description. Or you can contact the number which is given. First take a look at uh, crude oil, what happened in the morning market. Crude oil opened at 4157 range. After it opened at 4157, market falled up to 4150. But due to a strong support is seen at 4150, market didn't able to break it. Just a spike has been uh, came, but market has a strong support at 4150. Due to a strong support, market made a recovery from that point and market came up up to 4184. So currently crude oil in buying trend only, bullish trend only. Only. So you can expect crude oil up to 4200 range because currently 4200 is going to be the next level resistance for the crude oil. So if you see any uh, breakout at 4200 means you can expect some new fresh trend in the crude oil market. According to current situation crude oil in buying trend only. By taking uh, 4170 as a supportive level you can buy crude oil right now also. For selling trend, only if crude oil break below 4150, the selling trend will get start. So until 4150 support is there, crude oil will not go further down. So if a breakout has been seen at 4150 means you can expect crude oil in the downside. Copper. Let's take a look at copper. Copper opened at 452.25. From the morning itself, copper is on buying trend only. But around 455 range, a strong resistance has been there. So due to that, market stopped at the range of 454.50 itself. So for clear breakout, only if copper breakout above 455 means, you can buy copper and expect some new fresh trend in the buying trend in the market. So wait until copper breakout of 455. So until then if it didn't break out copper 455 range means you can expect a downside from this point onwards so according to current situation if it didn't break 455 from this point onwards copper will start to fall and then fall if you expect means the downside the supportive range will be 450 to 50 so 450 to 50 will be the supportive range for copper if a breakout seen at uh, 450 to 50 copper means you can expect more downside in the market also Let's take a look at Zinc also. Zinc market opened at 183 range. From the opening itself 183 is seen as a supportive level for Zinc. Due to that market has been above opened of 183 market started to rise. During that rise 184 is the current situation of resistance. So if Zinc mini didn't break out this 184 range means you cannot expect more upside in the market. So wait until for 184 breakout after if it made a breakout at 184 means you can again buy in Zinc also. According to current situation if market didn't break out 184 means from this point onwards Zinc you can expect some downside also. Uh, the current current level supportive range is 183 so breakout has been seen at 183 also means you can expect more downside in the market also so if a breakout has been seen at 183 you can sell zinc and you can expect it in downside also we are also taking more advanced trading strategy class if you want to know about it whatsapp or contact the number which is given below the video if you want to open your DMAT or trading account, kindly select the link in below description or contact the number. In future, if you want to see more videos like this means, kindly subscribe my channel NSC Commodity Trader. You, will, uh, you can get more videos regularly. By watching those videos, you will be updated in the market also. Thank you.